many families, summer means a trip to a Disney theme park. And just today, Hong Kong Disneyland became the second Disney park to reopen after being closed for five months due to this pandemic. Here at home, beginning on July 11th, Walt Disney World's theme parks in Orlando are reopening in phases, with Disneyland in California also planning to reopen next month. Here to tell us what changes are in store to keep everyone safe at the happiest place on earth is Disney Parks Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pam Heimel. Thank you for being with us. And Dr. Pam, I want to start because we just mentioned the parks in Shanghai and Hong Kong have both reopened. Talk about those safety measures that you have put in place when Disney theme parks reopen so everyone can feel all the better about walking in those doors. We've implemented physical distancing guidelines and reduced capacity in order to accommodate those. We've also increased the number of hand washing and hand sanitizing stations, increased cleaning and disinfecting throughout our parks. We've added temperature checks for both our cast and our guests, and we were requiring cloth face coverings for our cast members and guests ages two and old, older. And we've added things like contactless payments so that guests don't have to interact with touching objects. And Dr. Pam, since so many people go to the Disney theme parks, in addition to lowering the capacity in each park in a, in a graded fashion, how is it possible to encourage social distancing, especially in light of the new headlines today that are worried about the, the numbers that we're seeing come out of Florida? Yes, we're really following all the numbers very closely, working with public health officials and, and really looking at reducing our capacity in order to accommodate those physical distancing guidelines. We're also reconfiguring things like our queue lines and our ride vehicle loading so that we can ensure that there is physical distancing in place. And we're doing things like adding physical barriers if needed. So we're taking every precaution uh, in order to promote that physical distancing. Dr. Pam, you mentioned face coverings will be required for guests. We've seen recently what's happening on airlines with airlines, having those same rules in place for their uh, there are folks who come through. What will your cast members, what will your crew do for guests who aren't following those face covering rules? Well, we have great faith in our guests and we've had really good response both in Shanghai and then at Disney Springs as we've reopened. We'll ask our guests to wear their face coverings uh, and we do have a special team of our cast members that have been trained to interact with our guests in fun and engaging ways and explain the requirements and ask them to help us with all the shared responsibility we have about going back into the public and into our communities and into our parks. And obviously, in addition to the great Disney theme parks, there are so many resorts also in various stages of reopening. So what kind of safety changes will guests at the Disney resorts be experiencing? So even before our guests arrive, we're going to do enhanced cleaning of all of the guest rooms, especially focusing on high touch surfaces and high touch objects. There'll be online check in so guests can actually go straight through the lobby and into their rooms. We're doing an every other day light cleaning in order to limit the number of outside per persons coming into a room. And our restaurants, pools, and lobbies will be reconfigured, we'll adjust seating and services, and so we can really follow social distancing guidelines. And we're adding technology, things like mobile ordering, cashless transactions, other things that may include our magic bands, uh, just to help promote uh, some of that uh, ability to transact without touching objects. Well, Dr. Pam, I know so many people around the world are so excited to see Disney reopen. And of course, Disney is the parent company of ABC News. We certainly appreciate you sharing with us how all those theme parks will look different, but be safe for the people who want to go. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.